The first cars ever made were unreliable and unrealistic price-wise for the commoner. What most people say is the first working car is the one of Carl Benz's design. It was a crank start and ran on steam, however it could carry multiple people and keep running for more than 10 minutes. It was a good idea, but was unusable for a long trip that required speed. That was the inspiration for Henry Ford's first mass-produced car, the Model T. It was patented, and they started production in 1909. Henry Ford was an engineer and an inventor who revolutionized the way America manufactured all products. He invented the modern assembly line, which meant the people, d the people don't move, the parts do. Having people do the same job a thousand times a day meant better and faster workers who could get the job done easier. Having the ability to make cars in this fashion is what really made the Model T so popular. They produced 15 million Model Ts and led to the commonality of cars in the U.S. Hi, Mr. Ford. We are glad to have you here today. As we know, you are not only the founder of the common people's car, but the founder of the industrial system of today. What inspired you to engineer the assembly line and the Model T? Hi Janet, thanks for having me. Ever since I was a little boy, I was fascinated in moving parts and how they worked. As I grew older, I, uh, just making and figuring out how things work wasn't enough for me. So I wanted to make one thing that worked really well. As you know, that was a success. So I tried to make it as fast as possible. Using inspiration from Europe's assembly line, I invented a way of assembly uh, where the person stays put and the parts come to them for assembly. After they are sent out, they are just sent on. Was it hard for you trying to make the Model T without much money or resources? How did where you lived and work have an effect on you? It was very hard for me when I was working on the early models. I had to scrounge up all the money I could get to buy parts and assemble the car. With the Model T, I was about ready to give up. I had worked so hard on it that on that model, but I couldn't get it to run and couldn't find anywhere to make it look make a professional looking one. I finally decided to take out a loan. I spent the money on quality parts and a couple buddies helped me put it together. I knew I had something good. I got it patented and made a couple more models which I sold and started making more with the money I got. <coughs> the car took off and the popularity, uh, the popularity and demand just kept growing. Thanks for coming in with us today and sharing your experience with us, Mr. Ford. Thanks for having me, Janet, and letting me share. It was a pleasure. The Model T is a car that worked for people because it could handle almost anything thrown at it and wasn't a bank buster. Any family could afford one and would be able to pass it down to their children. It had an impressive 177 cubic inch four-cylinder engine capable, capable of 40 to 45 miles per hour. It was one of the first cars to offer a two-seat roadster, a five-seat family car, or a seven-seat town car. People not only wanted them, they needed them. The average person in America or any other part of the world needed a means of transportation that was fast and could go long distances. The train was a good invention which took care of this need for the most part. However, if you want to go to a train stop somewhere and it was several towns over, you would need to walk all the way to your destination. Also, you need to save up for the train ticket. Then have, the, then have to arrive at night or several days after when you need. The car was a perfect fit for this whole transfer for this whole and transportation systems at the time. However, they were unreliable and could not be afforded by the average person. When the Model T was made, it cost about $850, whereas most cars cost about $2,000. By the time other cars were sold at $1,000, the Model T was lowered to $350. It paved the path for the modern day car industry and revolutionized the way people traveled, much like planes do for us these days. The Model T got its inspiration from 
many of Germany's cars, but the way it was built came from England. Though the Model T was made in Detroit, Michigan, it brought all of the ideas from Europe to America, changing the ways of American companies forever. The city in which Ford's car was made was not wealthy and neither was he himself, but the way he was able to use his resources let him outcompete everyone else. The rest of America learned and continued his legacy today to allow us to make and invent so many things otherwise thought impossible. When the Model T was produced, it was in an era where innovation and engineering was at its highest in America. Henry took advantage of this and continued the drive for making new things with his Model T. After selling the car for about 19 years, there were 15 million of them on the road. This happened when cars were becoming popular to the public, which helped, me, which helped him tremendously in the long run. It started a new upbringing in America of manufacturing. Henry Ford was an inventist and a revolutionary. He shaped the world with his genius ideas about the assembly line and his incredible car making skills. The world and things made here would never be the same without him.